Hey guys, so I had a really slow start to my day. I'm heading to work now. I will see you guys later. Today's vlog is probably not going to be that exciting. Feel free to click out at any time. This shadow is really weird on my face. See you guys later. Hey guys, welcome home. So, ugh, sorry, gotta chill. I haven't eaten yet. I haven't edited yesterday's vlog yet. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm sleepy. Did a quick little braid. Of course my hair is falling out of here. I can't do like a side braid without pinning it. My hair is like, I don't wanna say it's so straight, but like obviously I ironed it so it is super straight, but it's like fine. It's got like no like grip to it. So I just um, edited and put, it a put a photo on Instagram. I attempted some lip art earlier. I'll give you guys like a sneak peek. I tried to do the Too Faced logo and that was hard. It came out pretty crazy. So the lighting ended up like reflecting off of the, the liner because it wasn't like a matte liner, which I didn't even think about this. Actually, it wasn't even liner. It was the Makeup Forever like flash color case. So I had to go in and Photoshop and like just darken the center of like the the black parts just so it like looked more like vibrant. Obviously I'm gonna put that in the, the comments or whatever. When I end up posting the photo I'll say like I had to darken the black in Photoshop because what happened is like the top part it looked black but the bottom part I guess the way that it reflected off the light it like looked like a like a light gray and it just looked really bizarre so I just like darkened up the black parts but yeah that was my first attempt at writing which is like not easy. Plus my lips are like wrinkly. They're not as full as they used to be. If I got like filler, lip art would be much, e much easier because it like stretches. That's why you see, when you see like the really, really plump lips on Instagram that they look like they're about to burst. Yeah, that's not natural. Like, nobody has lips like that. Even when my lips were much fuller when I was younger, they weren't like that. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting into this lip art thing. It's fun. I've always wanted to like dabble in it, but it's just, it's a lot of work in the sense that I like worry about getting experimental with the lips once you've had your whole face done. So what I do is I just, legit, I just put foundation around here, not even kidding, because I crop it to like this. So I put foundation around here. I don't even set it, and I probably should. I don't even bother setting it. <laughs> and then I play. Yeah. It's getting crazy. Keep in mind that it gets cropped like that. So, don't worry, yesterday's vlog is uploading. It's just gonna take another two hours. Even though it's already been uploading for like an hour and a half, two hours. I don't even know why I try to talk with this crap on. So, I don't know. You all know what I went up to. I need to take this off. I wanted to take the dogs for a walk, but, he, but Hugo was like, he wanted to sleep instead of eating his food. I'm like, no, you need to eat your food. It's a little late to go now. And I'm also worried that people are still doing fireworks because I keep hearing it. And. I don't need to be like messing with people right now. I need to take this off. So since I didn't have a lot of footage for today's vlog, I thought I will share my nighttime skincare routine with you guys. I already did my skincare routine, but I'll share the products I use and how I use them. I would love to someday film the whole spiel, but definitely not going to be a vlog situation because the turnaround time is way too short to do it as a vlog. To film one of those videos, I'd have to somehow make my bathroom super presentable, which means clearing out all the products and all that, and, and then trying to film in that tiny little bathroom, no lighting, there's no window in that bathroom. So, I mean, I don't know how I could ever get decent lighting in there, probably impossible. I don't know how people film stuff in their bathroom. I mean, I guess it would make, like if I had a, a window, it would be bright enough, but that bathroom does not have a window, so there's that. So, let me get into it. First, I wash my face, well, First, I remove any excess makeup so using like a baby wipe. I know that that's like not good. You're not supposed to use baby wipes in your face, but I do it. I've been doing it for a long time. I find that when I use a wipe, it takes off a good amount of my makeup and I'm doing less scrubbing while I wash my face. So then I wash my face. I use the Philosophy Purity Wash. I've been using this for years. I find that it takes off my makeup fairly easy but it doesn't give me that same feeling as like one of those cleansing balms or cleansing oils that are also great with taking makeup off but kind of gross me out at times so i've been using this for years this is actually my third bottle and the last bottle lasted me over a year and i use this at least once a day at night 
because I usually have makeup on. So I use this as my face wash. But if I put makeup on and have to remove it any time throughout the day, use this. So a little goes a long way. It lasts a really long time. This is my third bottle and I've been using this since like, I don't know, 2012, 2013. It lasts a long time. So then after that, if I have been wearing a lot of makeup, then I'll go in with the Derma E Vitamin C Micellar Cleansing Water. I know a lot of people use micellar water before washing their face, but I use it in reverse. I use it as like a step to remove any remaining makeup. And then I tone my face. I used to use other toners, but right now I've just been using rose water, which is a great toner. Oh, well, I guess I'll, I'll talk about, this is the stuff that I use every night, and then I'll talk about the stuff that's kind of sprinkled in. So then after toning, I go in with a serum. Right now I've been using the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. I'm actually on the last bits of this. And then I've been using the vitamin, the Derma E Vitamin C Intense Night Cream. This thing is huge. I got a lot in here. One thing I will say is I wish, wish companies would make their products so that they last the same amount of time. Cause like if you have a night cream and then you have a day moisturizer, which is not as with this, but you're gonna be using the serum twice a day. So like the serum should be massive. Or these should be smaller, you know what I mean? And then I go in with an eye cream. So I just finished up two different eye creams. So I won't talk about them, but this is the next one I'm gonna be using is the Algenes Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I don't know that I've used this before. Probably didn't focus, but I'm getting tired. And then I always, always, I, I literally cannot go to sleep without putting my It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi lip treatment. This is still that first one. And there's still a little bit in there, still a little bit of juice. And I started using this like eight months ago and I use it at least once a day, usually multiple times a day. But I'm telling you, if this is in my purse, which now I have, I opened a new one to put in my purse. This is in my purse and I'm in bed. I cannot go to sleep without putting this on. I will get out of bed and I'll put it on. I just, I've made it a habit. I just love this stuff. Obviously I do that after I brush my teeth. Now, those are the things that I'm always gonna use. Now here are the things that are sprinkled in. I would say like at least once a week, I do the Dermalogica Daily Superfoliant. I've talked about this a bunch, I love it. And then also at least once a week, depending on how my skin's doing, I'll do some sort of kind of peel. So uh, the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash, it's, it's like a mini peel. You know, it's got exfoliating beads, but it's also a chemical exfoliant as well, as well. It's gentle enough for daily use, but I don't use it daily because I live somewhere where there's a lot of sun, even though I wear SPF. It concerns me to like be so harsh on my skin when it's so exposed. Or I'll do the Derma Doctor Kakadu C, I don't know how to say that, Intensive Vitamin C Peel Pads. Yeah, so these are both pretty quick. This you rub on your face and I think you leave it on for one, one to three minutes. And this is 30 seconds to a minute. You can use it. I didn't bust out masks. I use a different mask all the time. I kind of go with the flow with that, but as far as like the excess add-on, like the add-ons, these are usually are it. So hopefully this was fun for you guys. I'm gonna end this vlog. I already have yesterday's vlog uploading, but like I said, it's taking forever. My goal and the reason why I'm rushing off is because it's past midnight and I'm trying really hard to get back to be a morning person. So I'm going to make sure that somebody calls me. I'm gonna tell my sister to call me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get up. I have the chiropractor tomorrow morning, which I was supposed to have today, but I couldn't get out of bed. So I moved it to tomorrow. <laughs> So I have the chiropractor at 10 a.m. So my goal is I'm gonna go to the gym before that, come home, shower, go to the chiropractor. Can we do it? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really try. Wish me luck.